Hi, I'm David McCulley, head coach of Trent Men's Rugby. Uh, I've had a great preseason. Uh, I think uh, it's been our most successful in, in terms of uh, maintaining good uh, positive energy. Part of that's been the variety of things that we've done. Uh, we've done a ton of training on the field. But we've also done things like team building at Lakefield College. We've brought in specialist coaches, Garth Miles for strength and conditioning, Natasha West for mental skills. Uh, so I think the variety's been great. The energy level has been great. We've been really happy as coaches with the mental learning that's going on. So it's very positive. Season. Sure. So, I mean, I think the preparation starts even before they get here. Uh, for returning players, they're given a pretty thorough strength and conditioning program through the summer to make sure that they uh, continue to, to grow in that area. And then all players uh, need to be working on their aerobic conditioning coming in. The first thing we do is run a three kilometer test where we've got times by position. And until you make that time, you can't play on the varsity team. So, a huge amount of the preparation is up to the players uh, with our support uh, before the season. And then this two weeks is really about trying to get everybody on the, on the same page. It's a pretty quick season once we get started. So we want to try and uh, introduce all the important uh, principles we're going to play off of, as well as get into specifics of uh, certain moves and things like that. So it's about laying a strong foundation. Uh, Booster Club has been uh, outstanding. Uh, University made a decision two years ago for financial reasons that uh, teams needed to fund their own preseason. So we've received no funding from the university for everything we've done in the last two weeks. It comes all uh, without the booster club, it would come all from the players and it would be very much a uh, fee for play system. So things like our, our day at Lakefield College for team building, our uh, mental skills coach, uh, we'll begin to use an academic coach who the players have met in the preseason. Uh, all of those things wouldn't happen without the support of the boosters. Uh, so Booster Club has just been in a, a very exciting um, endeavor for us to see be launched in the last few months. I think uh, absolutely massive. I think that I said this has been, I think, our best preseason, and the connection is, is a direct one because of the number of people that have been involved and uh, the ability for people to specialize in certain areas. So from the on-field coaching of uh, myself, Mike Boob, and Paul Hunter, uh, we each have our own areas of responsibility. Uh, Ryan Gentle is taking on a, the managing role, and then we've got uh, Garth Miles in strength and conditioning. Uh, Garth takes us a whole session a week with the players on Wednesday mornings. That's massive. Uh, Natasha Wesh coming in in mental skills is exciting. Um, and we've got Tim Rollwagon as the academic coach. That's a huge piece we're excited about this year. Uh, so, yeah, I, th I think growing of that uh, coaching team and management team is absolutely massive. You know, I, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a good target to try and achieve at the end of the season, but it, I, we've worked really hard to be honest, not to talk a great deal about that in the last week or two. We've got to walk uh, one step at a time, and, and we were pleased with our first week and our first game against the University of Waterloo. This week it's against the Queen's Seconds, and uh, there's no question uh, we're not going to pretend that that isn't uh, in our, in our long-term vision of being able to play on that day in front of a home crowd and hopefully a huge number of boosters. Uh, but at the moment, we just got to take one day at a time, and, and I think the players have done a terrific job of that. Well, if anyone is going to come and watch, I'd love to have them contact us in advance so we could uh, make sure to introduce ourselves and they'd be welcome to come into the change room if they'd like uh, to meet the players. Uh, I, I think the Booster Club has a huge potential in that two years ago, before we played in the gold medal game, we had a number of alumni send in letters to the players and it was really special uh, for me to watch the players realize that they were part of, of, of a tradition that they hadn't really realized to that point uh, existed. So I would love to, to connect uh, alumni and, and boosters with the, this year's team so that we can form those uh, stronger relationships. And our players appreciate that they're part of what is almost a 50 year tradition of Trent Rugby. Absolutely, uh, a huge, uh, our, our style is based on playing to our strengths and so we one of the things we really emphasize is, is our work rate and our work for one another and so we like to play a fast game, a game where we keep the ball in play as much as possible, 
and essentially we're asking questions for 80 minutes of the opposition of whether they're pre prepared to work as hard as we are around the pitch. That's in attack and defense. So that's one of, one of the, the key aspects of our play. Uh, and the second one is, is you know, commitment to each other. So just huge support around the ball, and that feeds into the first one of just trying to keep the ball in play uh, and, and keep it alive. So uh, one of the goals that we had when we set out was, was to create a style of rugby that people will want to come and see. And when they come to see it, they're going to be out of their seat uh, and be a little bit inspired by the way we play. And, and I think we've taken some steps towards that in the last week or two. We'll keep trying to do that uh, and provide a, a product on the field that people can be proud of and, and enjoy watching.